Shalom unto the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Chodash. Secondly, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders out of great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and is on the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Chodash, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick lesson uh, touching on a recent event that took place, okay, uh, a couple of days ago, okay. As you can see, I have this video queued up on the screen, which is off the two through and information page of uh, Elder Yashawamba of the GMS Dallas branch. As you can see, he gave the title, Esau is the end of the world. Okay. And the reason why I'm going into this lesson today, because like I said, you just had the coronation of uh, King Charles. Okay. The son of the the passing of the, the Queen Elizabeth, okay, you know, that happened, you know, a couple of months ago. And, you know, now King, jo King Charles, you know, just getting crowned, okay. They hold a ceremony over there in, um, in the UK, okay, where it's, they normally are from, okay. The, you know, um, the ones that, that's supposed to be in power, man. Okay, which are the biblical Edomites, okay, which is the so-called white race today. And the purpose of this video is that who the world calls God, Yahweh, okay, which his name is Yahweh, and his son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, the power of the Israelites, which happen to be the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those that descended out of that bloodline by the seed of your father, Okay, that the Lord ultimately is at the point that we're about to enter in, <coughs> enter into the downfall <coughs> of the Edomites. Okay, primary this place, America, which is their stronghold. Okay, and the ones that are truly ruling, besides this devil that claim to be king now, okay, King Charles, but the true rulers are these elites of Esau Edom. Okay, and he's part of the, the agenda, okay, and got ties with the family of the elites, such as the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, Gettys, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimers, okay, uh, the McDonald's, Kennedys, Bush, the Clintons, all of them are tied in together, man, okay? But supposedly you just, well, not supposedly, but you just had the ceremony of King Charles being crowned and, you know, presenting himself as, you know, the king, okay? But in all actuality, these devils, how they got their power, their rulership, is by ill-gotten gain, man, okay? And that they really enslaved the true royal people, us, the Israelites, of Negro, Latinos, Native Americans descent, okay? Because these elites, they got everything by the way of, Robbery, theft, bloodshed, okay? Queen Elizabeth uh, and her family alone, okay? You know, you know, if you know the history about the the colonization of the uh, of Britain, okay, how they went throughout with their um, armies, okay, to the certain lands over there in the Africa, okay, the Middle East, okay, India, and stole a lot of those country resources, okay, when it comes to the uh, uh, rubies, diamonds, precious stones, gold, silver, okay, and claiming upon themselves, man. And everything that these devils have, they got it by the way of the sword that the Lord bless them, okay, the blessing of Edom, okay, through their forefather Esau. And now they're ruling the day. Okay, uh, which is they known as the wicked man. So, so since you know they have been in power 
since the dark ages. And that's another thing. A lot of these uh, European countries, when it comes to the nobility of these certain high class uh, royalty families, okay, they stole that from us, okay, from the time of the dark ages. You know, if you know the history about the dark ages, that we ruled Europe for a thousand years, okay? You know, especially, you know, during the time of the, the Moors Empire, then later on, the, the, during the 16th century, the King James uh, rulership, okay? And it became a point of time that we fell, okay, at the end of the Dark Ages or the medieval times, what they call them. And these devils came back into power because during the time of the Dark Ages, they was pushed up into the uh, mountains or the caves, okay? Mainly uh, southern uh, Russia, uh, in, in Georgia, Georgia, Russia, man. Okay, and that's why one of the terms they call themselves today, Caucasian, which means cave dweller. But it came upon a time, as in Revelation chapter 20, goes into that, you know, the the, the chains. Okay, they was loose from the chains. Okay, and they uh, eventually would have ruled for a little season, which we are in. Okay, and that started during the uh, 14th century, mainly by the Borgia family. And from that time to now, Okay, these uh, Edomites had gained uh, power. Okay, a lot of these so-called Britain, England, France, okay, over there in Dutch, okay, over there in uh, Denmark, okay, a lot of those countries was ruled by us, the Israelites, primarily the Negroes. And throughout the process of time, when Esau got back into power or on the come up, Okay, he married his way back into the nobility, okay, claiming himself uh, uh, the kings uh, uh, of Europe, okay? And they did, they did that by the men marrying to the, the nobility uh, uh, of that royal family back then by marrying in our women, okay? And the seed determined your race. So everything that Esau had, especially over there in Europe, he stole, man. Okay, we always go into the history about the whitewashing, a kind of classism, as they destroyed the black images of the Negroes that ruled Europe for that thousand year period. And they came with whitewashing, putting themselves up as they the ones that ruled Europe. And still to this day, man. Okay, but now they being exposed. Okay, and like I say, this this Edomite here, King Charles, and the so called nobility family of uh, the UK or Britain, okay? Hey, eventually, to sum it all up, hey, they're going to go into captivity, man. And starting with these elites of Esau Edom, okay? The central bankers. As we're in the time now that they want to bring forth and establish their NWO, okay? And this whole ceremony ain't nothing but really a big ritual of their agenda or what they really want to do. And King Charles, like I say, he really on a, uh, even though he's at, put at a high esteem, okay, but he's really not the face of uh, the Edom when it comes to primary dominance or rulership, okay? He's just a, a public figure that happened to be the uh, Queen Elizabeth's son that had to take, you know, the, the step of being king now over there in Britain. Okay, but eventually all of them are going to go to go, go in slavery. Okay, primary when you who the world calls Christ, you how shall return. Okay, and this place America be totally annihilated by thermonuclear missiles at the peak of the third world war, and you how shall returning with the chariots, what the world call UFOs, which are the angels or the the vehicles of the angels. Okay, and how you how is going to return to wage war against these nations military and simultaneously as well, the Lord delivering the elect, the true nobility or royalty, man. Okay. Of the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, the elect of the nation of Israel, which were considered the 144,000 and the one third. Okay. Of the great multitude that destined to be saved. And when Yahweh Shai established the kingdom here on the earth, eventually. Okay. We're going to rule, man. Okay, the nation of Israel starting with the elect. Okay, 
and the future of these devils, uh, uh, Esau, Edom, they're going to go into captivity, man, right along with the rest of these heathen nations, which are our enemies. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play this quick video, and I'm going to uh, get a couple of scriptures, and that'll be the lesson. And I pray that it's be edifying. Unprecedented gesture at a coronation. He prepares to meet the leaders and representatives of the faith communities whose presence here today is valued. They all of them. Man, yeah, best believe, man. You know, these 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 Edomites, man, especially these higher ups, man, they all wicked. Okay, they all into all type of rituals and uh, uh, demonic sacrifice. Okay, you know the history. Okay, the exposure that coming out uh, when it comes to the, these elites and the less luminary ones. Okay, you know. But but here you got all type of nations. Okay, and, and you know all type of different religious leaders at this ceremony, bigging him up, man. Okay, you even had a a black chorus, okay, which, you know, black people, okay, a black singing chorus uh, that happily look like, you know, Negroes singing at the ceremony, singing a song called, you know, a hallelujah, praising him, man, praising their enemy. And that show you how low our people are. That's why two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, man. But you had all type of nations coming together for the ceremony to uplift and esteem the wicked. Okay, because like I say, everything they had gotten by ill-gotten gain, by bloodshed, by robbery, by lies, deceit. The history proved that, and still to this day, of their, their, of their true intentions, what they're still doing, man. And these devils never think that, or never thought, a, a thought that never come in their mind thinking that they're going to pay. Okay, somehow they're going to rule forever. And somehow we're going to be on the bottom. Okay. And they should feel like that because they're in the position of rulership. But the Heavenly Father, okay, Yahweh and the Son, Yahweh Shai, put him in that position. Okay? Just when it comes to, when it's going to come to that point when Yahweh Shai is going to return and disappoint them, man. Take them out of power, man. And like I said, they're going to go into captivity. Okay? <clears throat> And hey, look how lame this ceremony is. You think I, when, when we when we get in the kingdom, okay, and the elect being crowned and being honored under Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai himself being glorified, and hey, you think our ceremony is going to be lame as this, be dead as this, okay? No, we're going to be glorified in fashion, man, okay? A spectacular fashion, man. Let me continue on. And all these nations going to come and serve us, the real kings, okay? Start with the king of king and lord of lords, okay? Yahweh Shai, man, in which the elect is joint heirs, okay? Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Read the declaration to him of appreciation. And he thanks them. The other side of the nave, crossing the Winston Churchill Memorial, past the tomb of the unknown warrior, some members of his family, and just acknowledging there the governor's general of the Commonwealth realms. His presence here today, of course, is also greatly valued, and a reminder of the late Queen's untiring commitment to the Thanks to the bishops, and so King Charles the Third 
the oldest person to be crowned monarch of the United Kingdom emerges from Westminster Abbey to the sound of the bells and the crowds outside. His whole life has been spent in readiness for this day. And by his own insistence, despite his age, there is much that he still wants to achieve in this reign. So with the Abbey Bells Look sounding the... Look at him, man. The same crown that his mother wear. Look just like his mother. A bitch made. Okay? Hey, man, when we get in the rulership, man, we ain't gonna look nothing like this, man. Okay? You're looking at the curse of the earth right now. Okay, when we get in the rulership, man, we're gonna look like real kings, how a king's supposed to be. Okay? And the kingdom means dominance, ruled by the king, uh, uh, re represent a, 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 a male ruler, and dominion, a, a kingdom, a dominion means dominance. Okay? And we're going to rule with authority, and we're going to have an authority look, okay? Because in the kingdom, our body is going to be changed, okay? And we're definitely going to have beards on our face, okay? And we're going to have that all-still look, all-still look, man, okay? Our fashion is going to be a, a, a whole nother uh, aspect, man, that these nations are going to fear, okay? Not these devils, okay? The reason why these nations fear these devils now because they're in power, and they have advanced military, advanced technology, the riches of the, the earth. But they're frequent, man. They're a bunch of liars. Okay? You know? And like I said, the Lord put them in a position that they're in now. But they actually think they're going to keep ruling. Okay? I'm going to let this play out. And we're going to get some scriptures on these devils, man. About, they, about their future. Their near future. Use of his coronation. Throughout the United Kingdom and beyond, Charles's journey as crowned sovereign is about to begin. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Okay, like I said, they just had the correlation of him being crowned and all these nations uplifting him. Okay. But it ain't nothing but uplifting the wicked, man. Hey, but according to the scriptures, hey, the wicked gonna go into captivity. He saw you. Know. And those that want to join hand in hand, starting with two thirds of our people, or you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, okay, you're going to fall with them at this time, man. Because Yahweh Bashmel Shai is about to visit the earth with his wrath, man. Okay? And you're going to hear that from the prophets first. Okay, mainly. The same man you seeing out there that's uh, exalting Yahweh Bashmel Shai and prophesying about the downfall of America, the downfall of Edom and the great destruction and the issuing in the kingdom of Yahweh Shai are going to be those same men, okay, uh, 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 of the elect. And that's the number we pray that we're part of, the hopeful elect. Okay, we're going to be the same ones that eventually the Lord deliver us and set us up on top and put you devils back where you belong, on the bottom, okay? All these lies about you, the, the royal the royalty, the nobilities of the earth, yeah, for right now, for, for a moment, as the scripture says. Okay, but you have to pay. Okay, for the, the heinous history. Okay. All the wickedness that, that you Edomites have done, man. Okay, to the whole earth, but primarily to us, the Israelites. Okay. And the lies that you don't push throughout the years, man. Especially the blaspheming against our power. Yeah, how about Shemiah was shot? putting yourself up as God and the heavenly father's son. Okay. Taking our land from us. Okay. Like I say, self-claiming. Okay. Our book, the Holy Bible. And don't keep none of the laws, statutes, commandments that's written in the Bible, but being contrary to the ways of the Lord and doing the opposite and pushing all type of abominable or uh, uh, wickedness in this earth, man. So the time coming for you Edomites, man. Okay, and like I say, this video is off the um, beloved elder, Elder Yasha Wamba from the GMS Dallas, Dallas branch, two through an information page. And it says Esau is the end of the world. And that's where we exactly at, the end of Esau world. And that's the scripture I'm gonna start off with. Okay. 
And the world meaning the end of Esau Edom rulership, the end of his age. Okay? Not meaning the whole world when Yahweh Shai come back and bring destruction. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna destroy the whole world or the whole earth. Okay. It's going into a, a age of rulership. Okay, of Esau. And this right here proves it. This is second Edges, chapter six, verse six. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. So this is the Heavenly Father speaking. Okay, Yahweh. Okay, and his son, Yahweh Shai. That's going to uh, set up to be ruled next, or set up to rule next. And thus the nation of Israel being joint heirs, starting with the elect. Okay, so the Lord set these devils up in power, just as he done did in the past when it comes to other other nations, heathen nations. Okay, the Egyptians, okay, which are the original um Hamites, okay, the Babylonians, okay, uh, um the um Persians, okay. Then you had the, the Greco Roman Empire when Esau Edom came into power. And like I said, in during the time of the 13th century, they fell out of power, okay, the Roman Empire, and now people took over, okay, mainly the southern kingdom, okay, of Judah, okay, the so-called Negroes, what they call us today. And from that time, for a thousand years, we ruled over them, okay, and eventually they came back into power. That's why this place has uh, got the, the makeup, especially here in America and NATO, you over there in Europe got the makeup of the Roman Empire all over again. Okay. So this is the time of Esau Edom rulership. But the Heavenly Father put all set up all nations when it comes to kingdoms being ruled through our ages, man. Now we're coming to the age of Esau Edom kingdom about to be taken down. Uh, this is second Edges chapter six, verse seven. Then answer I and said, What shall be the parting of sunder of the times, and when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow? Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born of him, okay, Jacob is our forefather, okay, which Jacob's name would, name would change to Israel. Yahshua Allah, he prince of God, or he prince of power, okay. And that's where you, when Jacob or uh, uh, Israel, okay, like I said, his name was changed to Israel, and he had 12 sons, the 12 patriarchs of the Israelites today, okay? A Negro, Latino, Native American descent, okay? That's where we go back to, okay? Revelation chapter 7 is a good scripture to read about, you know, especially when it comes to the, the elect, okay, or the 144,000. And 12,000 tribes out of uh, 12,000 men out of each 12 tribes, okay, that represent the true nobility and royalty on the earth. And that's going to be set up when Yahweh Shah return and establish his kingdom and the elect being joint heirs, okay. And it says, And when Jacob and Esau was born to him, and Esau is the forefather of the Edomites, which today are the so called white race. And we just witness one of them as many okay when it comes to these edomites that's ruling over there in europe okay primarily they dominance come out of over there in europe and over here in america the land of israel okay because the ones that's over there in the in our land are not the original people okay as they have dominance all throughout the earth okay but primary europe and america and it says and when Jacob and Esau was born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And that represent Jacob's hand, okay, really at this time, okay, because we always constantly be going back and forth, okay, as two nations, okay, fighting amongst each other, warring against each other, okay? But at this time, it's going into us coming into power, starting with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh waking us back up to the truth, to our true nationality, our true inheritance as Israelites, and also exposing the so-called white race that they are the biblical Edomites. 
And that now we know through the prophets, okay, and through prophecy, that these devils are going to be taken out of power, man. Okay? So that's representing when Yahweh shall return and, and gather the elect, they're going to be taken out of power. Esau, Edom. Okay? The hand represent our power. And on Esau Hill, represent his foundation being taken down. Okay? Because your heel, your foot, represents your foundation. And it says, it was born in him, Jacob's, and Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Okay? For Esau is the end of the world. So that representing now we're in a time that as we're waking up back to our nationality, back to our true power, okay, us are the hopeful elect. Okay, we know that we're in a time that we got next. And that we know that this is the this this is our last captivity because it says that Esau is going to be the one on top. Okay? And when Esau is taken down, we're going to rule when Yahweh shall return. Okay? And it says, and Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Okay, so when Yahweh shall return, that's going to issue in our kingdom. Okay, being established here on the earth. As we're going to take over our land again. Because the land of Israel, by the way, that place is going to be destroyed by missiles. It's going to be cleansed. Okay, and once Yahweh Shah established his kingdom, because it's Yahweh Shah kingdom, we just join heirs, man. Okay, by default, Israel kingdom. Okay. And when we come out of the chariots, after salvation being beamed up, we're going to come back on the earth through a period of time. Okay. And eventually we're going to go to the land and we're going to go back with servants. Okay, starting with these elites of Edom, because they ain't going to be destroyed by the missiles. Okay, they're going to be reserved. They're going to go into their the retreats, their bunkers, their outer space stations. Okay, the under, under, um, underwater retreats. Wherever they're going to be hiding at, in the mountains, the caves, under the ground, just to be shackled up. Okay? Cause when you how was the um bring when the elect come out of the the, the chariots the 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 claim the earth again primary over there in the land of Israel, okay, hey, we are gonna have superhuman bodies cause we are gonna be changed, and on top of that we are gonna have spiritual power, okay we are gonna search you devils out right along with the rest of you heathens that gonna be remaining, and we are gonna make you bond man and bond women. Servants in layman's term, slaves, man. Okay, and that's when our kingdom is gonna be in, in, in full effect. Okay, and you heathens gonna serve us for a thousand years. So that's it on that. It says for verse nine, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. And we're in a transition of power now. That's why you're seeing Esau Edom being exposed. Okay, and these nations ready to go to war. That's going to lead to the destruction of America and also leading to the second coming of Yahweh Shai returning and bringing salvation. Okay, are you seeing the nation of Israel being awakened, coming back as we come back to our true nationality and our true power, man? Okay, so we're in that transition now. As we're at the, you know, coming point of Yahweh Shai return. So that's it on that. Because these devils in their mind, they figure that they're going to rule forever, man. As they have their agenda. Okay, to, you know, want to establish an NWO. Primary coming with a, a new system by bringing uh, a global, you know, uh, digital currency, which we know as the prophecy is the MOTB. Okay. In Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, the RFID micro or the N, the NFC micro over there in Europe. Okay. Over here is known as the RFID. Okay. In the States or, you know, what they push over here or what they're going to establish or implement and over there in Europe. And that system is being set up now. They just, you know, as they, these elites are bringing a lot of these orchestrated events and they just waiting for the right crisis Okay, the, the, the push or uh, put that in play, the MOTB, which we know eventually it will happen because it's prophecy. Okay, 
And that's what really going to put the stamp of approval, okay, on Esau Edom on, on downfall and his destruction. Because once of our people that take that MOTB, according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, here in America alone, it's going to be destroyed by those missiles, man. Okay? Because that's the fate of this place, the end of this place, the final destination of this place. Thermonuclear destruction and fire that comes from the chariots when Yahweh shall return. So eventually, they're going to be disappointed as they think they're going to establish the NWO and all the agendas that come with it. Let me get this. Job chapter 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. And what is his devices? Okay, his NWO. Starting with these elites. Okay? Like I said, even Cain, Charles, and that so-called noble family. Okay, that's got ties with him. Okay? And all the way down to the average uh, Edomite. Going to be destroyed. It's going to be judged. But starting with these elites, man. Because they're the ones that's in power. And that's in lead when it comes to want to establish this NWO. But it says, Job 5 and 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. Yeah, the enterprise is the NWO that they want to establish. Okay? Worldwide dominance. Okay? Especially them implementing that MOTB. Okay? In the, in the, in the, um, in the, um, the technology they have to enforce it, man. Worldwide, man. Okay? To have all nations total subjection up under them. But the Lord going to disappoint them, man. And it starts with the Lord redeeming the elect. Because the elect is not going to bow to the uh, the NWO or receive the MOTB. The elect is going to be delivered by the hands of Yahweh Shemai was shy. And that's the number we pray that we part of, man. Let me get this. Because you really, in all actuality, these devils think they're going to rule forever. But Yahweh Shemai was shy, the one that put him in power. This is Psalms chapter 75, verse 4. And it says, I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift, up, lift not up the horn. Yeah, the wicked is Esau Edom. Okay? That's in power right now. Okay, and it says lift up not the horn. Horn represent power in the Bible. Okay? And right now they're lifting up themselves. Okay, as they're in power. Okay? And as they think they're going to uh, keep, keep ruling forever. They're going to establish the NWO. Okay? And it says... Lift not up the horn, lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck. And these devils speaking proudly. Okay? Okay, think of, they'll never be taken out of power. They're going to rule forever. Okay, through their technology, through their weaponries. Okay? Through them causing division, having all the resources. Okay? They don't think they're going to never be taken out of power, man. And it says, Lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion coming neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Yeah, promotion going into when you uh, upgrade it all, you know, move to the next position, a higher position. Okay, you hear that at your jobs. I'm about to, uh, at a job. I'm about to get this promotion. Okay, I'm about to go to the next position, more more of a higher pay, more higher uh, 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 benefits. Okay, but that's how these devils think. You know, they, they're gonna keep think, they're thinking they're going to keep going. They're going to move into more of a high position of rulership, man. Okay, but it says, For a promotion coming neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh, Bashimah was shy, is the judge. He putteth down one, and set it up another. Okay, so Yahweh Bashim al Shah control all things, man, as he create all nations. Okay, and when it comes to us, we're the chosen people of the Lord, man. Uh, okay, the Negro, Latino, Native American, so called, and those that descended out of that bloodline. Okay, the Israelites. These other nations, in all actuality, they was made to be our servants, man. 
And the Lord created Esau Edom to be the wicked, to be, to be an example of what not to do when it comes to rulership. Okay? And them being the wicked to be contrary to the ways of the Lord. Okay? So that's who, so the Heavenly Father controls all things. Okay? And we know that Esau Edom is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, which the spiritual demon Satan is the power of the Lord on the left hand side. Okay? That these devils get their power from. Okay? That these devils, mainly these elites, okay? Okay? As they do these satanic rituals, they gain more power, they witchcraft, their enchantments. Okay, Isaiah the 47th chapter tell you about that. Okay, the latter end of the chapter. Okay. All they priests they have. Okay, as they pushing Satanism here on the earth. You see that? Baphomet. And the things that they want to do, man, that's contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashimah was shot. And dead set against us, the Israelites, man. Which they are our enemies, man. But the Lord says, but Yahweh Bashem is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. So the Lord, the one that set up nations in power and, and take nations out of power. Okay. And happily, we're in the time that Esau Edom is in power, but he about to be taken out of power. And we're going to rule next. Okay. Not the Russians, which they're Edomites. Not the Chinese that go back to Moab. Okay. Or any other of those countries that think they got next, man. Because they're seeing the decline of America. All of them are going to captivity. Starting with the Edomites. And it says, verse 8, for, for in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red, it is full of mixture, and he poureth out the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall rain them out and drink them. So that's the Lord's judgment coming upon Esau Edom. Okay, and like I say, those missiles, and ultimately also don't go into captivity. But I will, but I will declare forever and will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will cut, will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted, and that's what we're coming into. Esau, Edom, the end of the world. Okay, his power about to be cut from him, taken from him, and Jacob, the beginning. Okay, which is the righteous that our power about to be exalted, man. Okay, and that starts with Yahweh Shai when he returned. So that's it on that. So the Lord controls all things. He put you devils into power, man. Okay, but they thinking they got self-will and self-claim that, you know, they the one that did all these, uh, uh, that did all the conquering by they, by self. Okay, no, the Lord gave you that power. And just as the Lord gave you the power and put you in a position of rulership, he's going to take it from you. Okay, and Yahweh Shah is going to claim the earth. Okay, because the earth always been Yahweh Shah. Okay, the earth, you know, the earth and us, the Israelites, man. Okay, we in this, which is prophecy of the Lord. Okay, we in, the reason why we're in the position that we're in, okay, in captivity and up under you devil's rule and up under you heathens, Okay, due to our disobedience. Okay, uh, and which is a punishment unto us. But now we're in the time Yahweh Shai is forgiving us, the Israelites, starting with the elect. This is Daniel, and which means salvation is near. And Yahweh Shai kingdom is going to be established soon. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the man by the word of the holy ones. And the watchers is another way saying the prophets. As the prophets out there watching for the prophecies or the signs to go out there and prophesy about what's coming. And what's coming is the end of Esau Edom kingdom, man. Okay? And Yahweh Shai returning. And it says, To the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and give it to whomsoever he will, and set up over it the basis of men. And Esau Edom, out of all nations that the Heavenly Father created, okay, the so called white race. It's the basis, meaning the lowest, okay, to discuss. Okay, you see that, man. But the Lord got him in rulership. Okay, as it says, 
he give it to whosoever and set up over it the basis of, um, basis of man for the Lord purpose. Okay, so he can bring him out of power. Okay, to show his might and show them that he's the power of Israel. Okay. And these devils going to go into captivity. Let me get this real quick. I'm going to get these probably a couple of more scriptures and close out. Like I said, they're going into captivity. Okay, so Cain Charles, he can re rejoice. He can be happy. Okay, that he got crowned right along with the rest of his nobility family. Okay, so that they as they claim. Okay, which they ain't know a, a bunch of devils. Okay. Uh, right along with the rest of these Edomites. Okay, starting with these elites. Okay. They had a mind frame. They're going to rule forever. Okay. Like I said, eventually when you have a shower turn, they're going to go into captivity. And let me get this. This is Isaiah chapter 49, starting at verse 22. Matter of fact, no, let me get this real quick. That's a good one. Songs chapter 1. I mean, Songs chapter 149. Excuse me. Starting at verse 4. And it says, For the Lord taketh pleasure, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Who are the people of the Lord? Once again, us, the Israelites, a Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans descent. Okay? For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. And that's who Yahweh Shah is coming back to bring salvation to. The elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay? And it says, Let the saints be joyful in their glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. And the saints are Israelites. Okay? Not all nations. Okay? Matter of fact, let me get on to prove that real quick. This is Psalms 148, verse 14. He also exalt the horn of his people. That go that horn again. Represent power. He also exalt the horn of his people, and that's what's going to take place when Yahweh shall return. Okay, exalt the power, okay, of the heavenly Father Yahweh, and thus the Lord, uh, us being the Lord's chosen people, man. Okay, the Israelites, and it says he also exalt the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye. Yahweh by Shimei was shot. So the saints are the Israelites, man. Okay? So back into Psalms 149, verse um 5. And it says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. And the bed represents your rest. Because in the kingdom, that's when we're going to have our true rest. Okay? But right now, we're laboring to enter into that rest, man. Giving diligence to make our calling and election short. Okay? Us that praying that we part of that Hope for elect. Okay? But in the kingdom, once Yahweh Shire established the kingdom, that's when we're going to have a true rest. And it says, verse 6, Let the high praises of Yahweh by Shem Shai be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. Okay, a two-edged sword, meaning they cut both ways, man. Okay, and that's literally. Okay, because we're going to get recompense on you devils, man. Okay, and all you nations. For what you've done to us. Okay? You can read on what um Revelation chapter on 13, verse 9. Okay. What is on on um what that's Isaiah. Let me go. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna go there real quick after I finish this. Matter of fact, I'll go there real quick, real quick. What that's Isaiah. Let me see. Jeremiah. I'm glad I look it up because I think it's Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that had devoured thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee would I give for a prey. And that's starting with you elites of Esau Edom. 
okay? And all you Edomites and the rest of you heathens, in our kingdom, man, it says all thy adversaries shall go into captivity. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, who no man seek after of. Okay? So the Lord going to restore us, man. And it's starting with now, the Lord waking up the elect, and eventually, how will Shai return and deliver the elect? Okay? Enter into everlasting life and immortality. And you heathens going into captivity up under us. So let me go back to Psalms. Chapter 149, verse uh, 5. And it said, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. Okay? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Okay, these other nations. Verse 8. To bend their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of irons. Okay, and we just seen that. Okay, a Edomite coronation, King Charles. Okay, being crowned as the, the, the next king. Okay, after, his, after the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth. Okay, and she going to come back in, this, uh, in, 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 in the kingdom too. Okay, being a, a slave. Everything is recarnated, man. Okay, look the term recarnated up or recarnation up. Okay, all nations are recarnated. And these devils that perish on this side, they're going to come back in the kingdom. And these heathen nations that perish on this side are going to come back as servants in our, in our kingdom. And the two-thirds that die on this side or in this lifetime, they're going to come back in the kingdom being the sons and daughters of the elect. And they're going to have an inheritance, okay, to enslave you heathens. Okay, and that's what we're waiting on. Okay, but it starts with the elect. And it says, verse 8, to bend their kings with chains and their nobles with fetter of irons. So that's going to all you Edomites that's in power right now, mainly your elites. Okay, on down. And you heathen nations. Okay, or these other nations that got a certain title or nobility amongst themselves. They're going to go into captivity as well, man. They're going to be chained up. Okay. And they nobles with, with federal irons, man. Okay? Represent slavery. And it says, verse 9, To execute upon them the judgment written, This honor have all his saints. Praise ye, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. We do that now, man. Exalt Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai now. How much more in the kingdom? Okay? When we finally got you devils and shackles, man. Man, executing judgment upon y'all. Okay? Recompense, man. And it's all going to be justice, true justice. Okay? And yeah, you devils can't stop it. And that's what they're afraid of as well. Okay? But in their mind, they figure that they, they're never going to be taken out of power. And somehow we just uh, puffing. Okay? And when I mean puffing, just we just speaking like nothing going to come to pass. Okay? We're just blowing smoke. Okay? Just blowing hot steam when we out there teaching okay telling them about their downfall they don't think we're gonna rule man okay but eventually they're gonna see and let me end off with um let me end off with this Isaiah um verse 49 Starting at verse Isaiah chapter 49, starting at verse 22. And it says, Thus say the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim Shai, behold, I will lift up my hands to the Gentiles, and it's going into the original Gentiles, the heathens, not the Israelite foreigners that scattered, or the Israelites that scattered amongst the heathens. Okay, that might look like uh other the other other nations. Okay? Because we know that you're gonna have Israelite foreigners that's gonna be part of the elect as well. They might look like these other nations, okay? But they spirit, through the spirit, okay? And they being gathered by the way of this word, they're going to be saved. And, and eventually, all nation, all the nation, uh, all the elect going to be changed, okay? When the Lord return. 
But this is going into the original Gentiles, the heathens, starting with Esau, Edom. And it says, This is the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. Meaning, meaning they're going to serve us, man. Okay? And they're going to be carrying us, man. Okay? Uh, you know, you know, you see ancient pieces when kings are uh, being, you know, brought into a certain city or country. How they had their servants, okay, uh, as they were sitting up on a throne and it was being carried. And all the substance that were following behind them to bring to another king. Okay, that's how they're going to be. Okay, lifting us up, carrying us, man. Okay. That's how it's going to be. Like me and the brothers, we always talk about like in the kingdom, you know, the Lord want to be part of that number, that election. I always, you know, be, you know, talk to the brother, especially, you know, me and the brother Kabat. I was saying the kingdom, <laughs> I could picture, you know, we could picture ourselves, because we got to be kingdom-minded, man. The Lord said another another way of saying a, a, a prophet seers, okay, the vision, visionaries, okay? You know, you know, I always make, you know, sometimes make the statements that, like, man, when I when we get in the kingdom and and the brothers establish how I'm going to go visit, they, you know, they land, you know, and I bring them, you know, my son's daughters and wives, you know, and coming with all type of sustenance, and the heathen's going to be carrying us, man. Okay, starting with the Edomites, man. Carrying all the substance that I that that I want to have to give to my brother, man. You know, come to his land and, and you know and, and, and you know and give arms. Okay, to, you know to see his family. You know, we think like that, man. And you know, and, 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 and trade service. Well, I could give him service, and he could give me some of his service, man. That ain't going to be in the kingdom, man. Okay? That's why we ain't in the mind frame of thinking about America continuing on. Which, if you're thinking like that, you're thinking about captivity going keep going on, man. The scripture said this place is not our rest. Michael 2 and 10. Okay? But let me continue on. And that's how I'm going to be with all my brothers, man. Lord willing. If I'm part of that election, man. That's how I think, man. <clears throat> and it says, um... Isaiah chapter 40, 49, verse 22. Uh, and it said, This said the Lord God, I will, I will, behold, I will lift up my hand unto the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in thy arms and their and they daughters, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Okay, kings. Okay, going into these heathens. Okay, that's on top now. But when Yahweh Shai return, they're going to be taken out of power. Going from riches to rags, man. Going back to that low state that Esau Edom known to be at. Okay? Like I say, this rulership that he in, it's just a moment in the eyes of the Lord. Compared to our everlasting kingdom. And compared to that thousand year period when they go into captivity up on us, man. But these heathen nations start with Esau Edom. Okay? They're going to serve us. And it says, and kings shall be their nursing fathers, okay? And their queens, thou nursing mothers. Okay, so they so they're gonna serve us, man. They men, women, and children. Okay? The men's gonna be servants. Okay. The women, for the most part, gonna be concubines. And their children gonna be servants. Okay. And that's how they're gonna be. So they ain't wanna hear that. When you got the Negro, Latino, Native American saying that to them. But it's all fine and dandy. Okay, when they uh, separate our family. Okay, and, 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 and you know, and, uh, and uh, uh, split up our family and had us on auction blocks. Okay? But when it's time for them to drink of that cup, oh, nah, 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 the Bible ain't real, nah. Okay, it's a hate book, nah. Or they're a hate group speaking speaking hate. When we tell them about their future judgment that's coming. Now the Lord awakened. Now that Yahweh Bashim al Shah waking up the prophets, man. But let me continue on. And it says, And their kings shall be the nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and look lick up the dust off thy feet. And they ain't going to literally be licking the dust off our feet. That means they're going to be at a low state. They're going to bow down to us, man. 
okay? When they, when we uh, come in their present, they're gonna have to greet us with a bow, okay? And honor us, man. And we're gonna have a, a, a scepter, okay? And with that scepter, man, we're gonna uh, bash them. You know, how would y'all say that? Okay? Well, that's in uh, Revelation chapter two. Okay, matter of fact, I'm gonna get that after I finish this. And it says, and it says, and they shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth and lick up the dust off thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that, that waited for me. And that's us of the whole elect. Okay? Because eventually, Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to set up the elect, the rule. Okay? And eventually, the whole Israel is going to rule, but starting with the elect. And we're going to rule over these heathens. Start with Esau, Edom. Um, Revelation 2. And this right here show you that it's gonna be that right there show you that it's gonna be separate it's gonna be separation in the kingdom. One nation gonna rule over an another. And it's happening to be us, the Israelites. And you see the nations bowing down to us. Let me get this. Uh this is Revelation chapter two, verse uh twenty five. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come, and that's talking to us, that's in the faith. Okay, to endure to the end. And constantly serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And looking for the deliverance. Because we know what's going to deliver us, man. Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us. And we know what's the reward of that. Okay? Of us doing his work. Matter of fact, let me continue on. And it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Okay? And this is what the world called Christ saying this vocab alone. Okay? And he's talking to the Israelites, start with the elect that's going to rule, man. Having powers over the nations. And that start with Esau, Edom. Okay? And it says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, that scepter. Okay? If you got a scepter, that means you got to be a king. If you're ruling, that means you have to be a king. And we're the true kings, man. Okay? Then we can say that king's in the building there. When Yahweh Shah set up the kingdom of Israel here on the earth and we in rulership. Okay? And what's going to prove that? That scepter and the crown that's going to be given unto us by the hands of Yahweh Shah. Okay? And it says, And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. And even as I receive of my father. Okay? So that's showing right there. Is the Lord going to execute judgment by using the nation of Israel, man. Okay, starting with the elect. Okay, that's going to be the kings of that earth and of the earth in that day, having that scepter. And it says that what? And it says that as the vessel of a potter shall they be broken in shivers. So you take an iron rod, and you got a vessel, a uh, uh, a potter. Okay, like a vase. That made out of clay, and you take that iron rod and you you smash that that vessel with it. Okay, you get the outcome. Okay, that's how that's how it's gonna be, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the lesson here, and I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until the next time, I'm gonna end off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Chodash, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.